Hi y'all. Today I found a way to pop it up so I can lean back in my chair and you can still see more than a disembodied head. Yay! <laughs> um, so it is Friday the 14th and it's 10.14. Um, I've been awake for hours. You didn't want to get out of bed. It's cold. <laughs> um, I'm staying in my nice um, feathery quilt. Hello Howler. I think I just might as well invite Mally to join me on these um, videos because he comes in on almost everyone now. I offered him a collaboration when he starts his channel, even though he'd be a gaming channel. Um, but he's like, no. <laughs> I think <laughs> <laughs> I think he's embarrassed to be seen with his mummy on his channel. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been awake for hours. <laughs> I just didn't want to get up because my blanket is so warm and cozy and soft um, I know I shouldn't really have a feather blanket um, as a vegan um, but I'd had it from before I became a vegan and I'm a flexi vegan and I need something light but warm and it's really light <laughs> and soft and cozy and it doesn't hurt to have it so I use it uh, so, today, I'm still unravelling balls. Who knew I had so much to unravel? Um, I'm hoping I might get a good size blanket. It depends how long, wide I make it, because I, I don't know. I think I'd quite like to have one that can be for me and Duncan to share on the sofa to cuddle up and watch movies. But then he has a habit of nicking the quilt, which is a king size. Um, so if I made a small lap gan that's wide enough for the sofa, I think I might end up with none of it. So it might be that I might just make a small one just for me and make him a separate one. He does have a granny square. We all have giant granny squares in this house, but he doesn't really use it. So I've told him I might take that one apart too and my one and add them into this one. <laughs> Only fair, I'm not going to use them, I'll reuse them. <laughs> So yeah, there may be more yarn to take apart. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, other than doing that, I probably will do some on the dragon today because I don't actually know what we're doing tomorrow. We need to go into town for Malik to pay money into his bank account. Um, because it turns out, even though it says online the kiddies can, they can't actually pay in at the post office. Uh, so, yeah, gonna have to take him in so he can pay some cash in the bank. Uh, ready for him to order his game that he saved a lot of money for. Bless him, he's a good boy. Then, we need to go Booker, we need to go Tesco's. I really want to go to Audi, but we can't. I've never had Audi yarn. How appalling is that? Everyone's talking about all the wonderful Audi yarn. I've never had any of it. Um, one day I will. They just they don't get it in close enough to payday for me. <laughs> so I miss out every time. <sighs> so, yeah, so I'll do the dragon. Today, because I don't know whether I'll be able to join you tomorrow. But after we've done our basic shopping needs and bank needs, I don't know if we've got anything else planned for tomorrow. Because um, I still don't have a phone. Uh, it's officially been a week and I'm going insane. Who knew? I never thought I'd be bothered about not having a phone. Um, apparently, it's on its way back to us, but it's going to take three to five days to come through Royal Mail. Since when did Royal Mail take three to five days? Um, first class one day, second class two days. That's how my post always arrives when I deliver um, orders to people. <sighs> yeah, as soon as I post it anyway, I've got to get out to the post office first. That could take a couple of days, depending if I can bribe someone to go up the post office for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so no phone at the moment, and not sure exactly when it's going to arrive because of course you have posts on Sunday so that doesn't count. <sighs> no idea what's wrong with it. They've not said anything. They've just said it's on its way back. So we don't know if it's fixed. 
um, if there is a simple problem, if they're planning on charging us for anything, because hell no am I paying anything, that phone is not old enough to be going wrong. Um, and I just, I don't know, I'm going to have to wait and see. I'm also hoping they send the right phone back, because when you, you book it in, you have to tell them what phone it is, you give them the IME number and all that sort of stuff, but then you select the colour, and my colour is red, they didn't have a section for red, so we had to select space grey. If they send me back a space grey, there will be how to pay. Um, you might actually get me on the phone for that one. <laughs> um, you don't, you won't. Don't gonna do it, but I'll be beside him telling him what to say because I love him, but he's a pushover. Um, when my phone broke years ago and I'd only had it a couple of weeks or so, um, he went in without me. Um, but this then I could have handled this myself, but the phone was in his name. Um, but he went in to what, and they convinced him the only way to get my phone fixed was to take out a year's insurance and then claim on that. So that's what he did. I come back and I was like, you yeah, what? That phone was not fit for purpose. It broke within a few weeks of use. That is legally their job to replace. And they convinced him he had to pay for it. Oh, it was fuming. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you don't take me for a ride normally. I mean, obviously it's a little easier nowadays because I can't argue back on the phone because I'm too afraid to pick up the phone. But back then, I'd argue anything. Um, I had one pair of shoes break after a week's worth of use. I only worn twice during that week and the strap broke off. Went back to the shop and they're like, oh no, it's just wear. Nothing you can do. I said, you want to bet on it? So I went home. I emailed Trading Standards. They emailed me within an hour a letter back stating on there that I was correct. I was within my legal rights to get a new pair of shoes and if they didn't do as I said, I was to ring the trading center, stood in the shop and they send someone down to fix it for me. And so I went in, showed them the letter and they're like, oh, we're ever so sorry. Here's a pair of shoes. Sorry you had bad service. Um, I won't have someone take the piss. If it's my fault that something's broke, completely own it. I will pay for it to be fixed. But if something breaks after a couple of uses, when it's designed to be worn or used for long periods of time, it's their job to replace it and they damn well will. <sighs> See, I didn't mind about my diamond painting because they did a good job. It just was the wrong size and mistakes happen. This wasn't a faulty project and it broke. It was just a mistake. These things happen. So I wasn't really too bothered about it. But if it was a downright disgusting piece of work, then there would have been complaints. But I was happy with the work, it was just a little mistake. <sighs> but, oh well, never mind. Thank you, Cindy, for saying you like my ramblings and things and it's just chatting away. Because I do feel like I'm chatting to you guys. Because, I mean, as you've probably worked out by now, I literally have no one come to visit me all day, every day. Um, I see my kids when they're not studying or on their computers or out with their mates. I see Duncan when he comes home from work, by then he's usually tired and grumpy. And then I see no one. Um, I haven't had a friend come to visit me in God knows how many years. Um, nobody phones me, hence why I didn't think it would bother me that I didn't have a phone, because nobody phones me. Um, my twin sister phones me for her walk home from work so that she's not alone walking home from work, which completely yeah. she would do it at one two o'clock in the morning or ten o'clock in the morning it doesn't matter i'm um, not having a walk home alone you know this is a dangerous world and she's so tired all the time it keeps her awake while she's walking because she has almost walked into a wall before she's so tired bless her um so we just talk about random stuff of it's going on at that point but if she's um doing okay got someone else with her or she's not tired or it's you know broad daylight and nothing too dangerous going on um she doesn't always say me so i see no one speak to no one I have a lonely life <laughs> um so you lot are my friends and i love chatting to you i need to do more lives but it's finding a time that you lot are available and I'm coherent because I know a lot of you like to do evening lives but the problem is by the evening I'm usually not particularly coherent I'm usually quite crashed and not sentence making not that I'm particularly sentence making during the day but if you think I'm a bit dopey during the day you should see me in the evenings <laughs> so I can't do the evenings very well and of course most of you actually work 
uh, you know, out of the house and not the craft business. So you can't take the time out to chat to me during the day, uh, which is a bummer. Or you have young little kiddies who need seeing to, let's face it, young little kiddies comes first and they will keep you busy. Old ones will keep you busy. <laughs> So this kind of chatting is my only chatting, which is why you get so much ramblings from me. Um, why don't you all send me some questions? Anything. No holds bars. I'll tell you anything. I've got no secrets. I'm an open book. <laughs> um, so ask a question and I'll answer them. That'll give me something to talk about. How's that sound? Because um, of course a lot of my crafting chats are just me rambling. Why not answer some questions? That'd be quite cool. Can be anything, craft related or not. I'm not fussed. Give me something to chat about, won't it? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go and start unraveling the rest of these. I did get a fair bit of it done yesterday. Um, I got some more done after I put the video up last night. Um, but I'm trying to think how much I got done. I think I only got two more items done, and they were smallish items. So not a huge amount done because it was always, it was pretty late by the time I put the video up, wasn't it? Um, so I think I've got three more items to unravel if I don't do the granny square blankets. It is really windy out there today. That's what I keep looking at um, because of course I'm surrounded by windows and I could just see the bamboo and the rose bushes and the whatever they are over there. Um, just really going like this. Um, and we're surrounded by trees. I live near a forest. Wow, that's it. For a woods. I live near a woods. We used to camp in it when we were younger. Nowadays it's so overgrown the kids can't even go in it. Um, you weren't supposed to camp in it. It's private property. But they knew we did. And as long as we looked after the thing, we made sure there's no dangerous fires. We always stacked up properly. Um, and, you know, we um, didn't do silly things. We didn't play loud music past sensible hours and things. That's not to say we didn't play music, we just weren't obnoxious about it. They knew, they didn't care, um, because we respected the property. Whereas now they've let it come overgrown because the new owners, because that guy died and his son took over, um, he doesn't let anyone on it, so he keeps it severely overgrown so that people don't want to. So now pretty much people walk their dogs through it and that's it. Um, there's a canal in it, um, very polluted canal, but there's still fish in it, so some people do go fishing. My, um, middle younger brother took Mally last year, year before. Um, and he's always taken Reese, my middle son, fishing along there over the years as well because he comes in from where he lives and brings his kids to go fishing here because it's a tiny little canal, there's no need for a licence or anything because it's not a fishing spot um, and nobody really cares. But yeah, where we used to camp is now overgrown, mudded mess that you can't. Um, we used to make rants with our bikes there as well. Um, I look at it now and I think, did we really ride down that? Or has it got steeper? Because, huh, <laughs> this is a little steep. <laughs> um, it's either got a lot steeper, which doesn't seem right because it's from the outside down onto the pavement. Um, so it couldn't really have um, got higher with erosion, could it? <laughs> or we were crazy. <laughs> It's highly likely we were crazy. Um, but yeah, we used to ride around. But back when I was younger, there wasn't quite so many houses around it. And you used to be able to go from what we call the Little Woods, which was up on the island where I live, all the way around to what we call the Big Woods, which is the ones that I'm on about. And you used to be able to just take a path all the way around. Um, whereas now there's houses in between. Um, so, and the other one was a private property as well. They were technically two separate ones, but you could get through to them. Um, they had a tree house built on there, they built from their son, but he'd grown up, moved on to let us play in it. It was great. Um, but that's gone now, and a lot of houses are built in those areas. Um, so nobody accesses that anymore either. Um, the only one I think still intact, as far as I know it's still intact, is the woods which Duncan used to play in, because he lived up the posher end of the village. Um, I lived on the council estate. <laughs> um, he went into a different woods up there and I think that's in fact when we first moved back we went and checked and the den which is basically a big hole in the ground with tarpaulin and things that him and his mates had built was still there 
Um, so that's mostly intact. Um, they've got a lovely blue bow section up there um, when the weather, uh, weather, when the season's correct. We like to go up there because it's just beautiful up there. Um, so we do like to go through there, but it's harder for me to do that now because obviously in the wheelchair, you can't get a wheelchair through the woods. It's just not going to happen and I can't walk very far anymore. So I don't get to do it, but yeah, we used to love playing in the woods. We didn't stay inside. We were out every moment we could. But back then, you, we walked along railway tracks. You could not do that nowadays. <laughs> um, you know, it was slower trains, much bigger warning, that sort of stuff back then. Um, now, no, it's a death trap now. I mean, yeah, you could have got killed back then as well. We had warnings. But the thing, nothing was fenced off. We didn't, like, go through fences. It was just open. And so we went for walks. Um, you know, but we grew up reading stories and watching movies on the railway children. Um, but now it's all fenced off quite sensibly. And so the kids can't play on there. Most of the woods in this area is now gone. Um, a lot of the greenery gardens and things are gone because houses have been built in places that was one house with a massive garden. It's now like four houses. Um, and it's just... Our little village is becoming an overpowered housing rabbit hutch session. It's not what we grew up in. It's not what I wanted to raise kids in. I'm glad they're almost old enough now not to care. Um, but, yeah, we used to have fun. We used to love playing in the woods. I miss being out again and playing in the woods. I could just hang around in the woods, climb the trees, all sorts. Um, I was a slightly meanie mummy with my oldest. My middle one was climbing trees from an early on, but my oldest didn't want to. So I forced him to climb a tree, because I knew once he'd done it, he'd love it, but he was quite scared. Um, so I forced him to climb a tree. I told him we were going to stand here until he climbed the tree. Um, and if he got up to the first branch and hated it, that would have been absolutely fine. But he had to get onto the first branch, which was really low. Um, you could boost me up onto it now. <laughs> um, he got up onto that one. He's like, ooh, this is fun. And went straight up to the top. <laughs> and after that, he loved it. Um, which I knew he would. Uh, whereas Mally, um, I think he climbed a tree a couple of times, all by his own violation. But then he decided it wasn't for him. <laughs> so he didn't do it again, which is fine. Uh, that's the problem nowadays. Kids don't know how to go out and play. It's like, I'm bored. Go play. What? Nothing to play with. Nature? <laughs> Go and enjoy nature. Nature is fantastic. Um, we used to, my mum used to have the grass so tall in our back garden at one point. We used to play 40 40 in, in it. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, we were short children. I mean, I'm only five foot now as an adult. And I mean five foot nothing. Um, so we were tiny as children. Um, so we used to play 40 40 in in the grass or hide and seek and all that sort of stuff. It was great. <laughs> We used to love all those games in British Bulldog and Stuck in the Mud and back then it was Kiss Chase um, or Tag, none of which you're allowed to do nowadays. Um, we used to have a really good time. And Leapfrog. Imagine trying to be able to teach a child Leapfrog nowadays. They're like, why are you jumping over someone? Why would you do that? Because it's fun. <laughs> but, oh well. Manny does like hula hoops though. Um, he plays with my hula hoops that I can't use anymore. He's actually quite good. Though disturbingly, he's so skinny that my arm hoops, he just puts over his entire body and steps in and out of them. My niece done that too, Shannon. And she's not a child, she's an adult. She's just so skinny. She just saw Mally do it one day when she came, I think it was a year ago, maybe two. She just, which would have made her about 17? No. Would have made her about 18 or 19, I think. Um, and she saw Mally step through the soup and she's like, ooh, what? If I can, and she did. She stepped through this tiny little arm hoop. Hang on, I think I've got the hoop. Let me see if I can show you it. Oh. Yeah, here we go. This. Oh, chair stuck. This hoop, you know, this that won't go down anywhere near me, is what my 13 year old son and my niece, who is now 20, can fit through. <laughs> Shall we show you? <laughs> You'll put it back there for me. Isn't that disturbing? <laughs> Please put it back. <laughs> um, 
I'm not sure I can get a thigh through that. <laughs> but yeah, he plays my hoops now because I can't play with them. Oh, let's get back into the comfy position. Uh, I suppose I should go. I said I was going to go and then I carried on talking for what, another 10 minutes? <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry, as they say. Right, I am going to go this time and I will catch you all later. So take care. Bye. Hi, all. I just quickly wanted to pop on before I forget the name of the podcast. I've just started a new, watching a new podcast, lady, um, or YouTube channel. Um, I tend to call them channels, but I know a lot of people calling them podcasts, which seems weird to me. But anyway, so a new channel. <laughs> um, she's got three videos out at the moment. Now, the last one out was 13 hours ago um, for me at this moment when it's... 12.42 in the UK <laughs> um, but her name is Melanie Stitch to my Lou and that's L-O-U um, so do check her out if you don't um, find her if you go onto my last my video yesterday um, she's in the comments so just click on her name there and you'll be able to go through to her channel um, there's another one I'm going to watch in a second but I need to pull up a name um, I know sort of what it is, but remembering it is, well, we all know I don't remember anything, don't we? Um, so I just need to find it so I can make sure I get it right, because I don't want to get it wrong. I meant to say about her the other day, but I forgot, because we all know I forget these things, so where are you? There we go. Gothic Kisser. K-I-S-A, that is. So it's Gothic, K-I-S-A, Gothic Kisser. Um, and she does crochet and diamond painting um, she's only got one video out so far which was three days ago but so she, she's really new but do go check her out um, I'm sure you'll love her like I do and I think it was Kim who mentioned her yesterday day four? I can't remember which is what reminded me to go and check because I subscribed to her a little while ago um, it's Gothica Chris's Creations there we go um, I subscribed to her a little while ago because she'd mentioned on one of my things that she was looking to start her own videos. So I subscribed, but I never got the notification that she put one out. So I wanted until Kim said that it was she got a video out that I went over and checked. Um, so I'd missed it. <laughs> but it's only three days ago, so I'm not too far behind. But yeah, go check her out too. So that's two of them. I'll try my best to link them down below when I do this video tonight. Turns out tired I am to whether I forget. Um, but she's also in... Oh, I can't remember which video. She commented on um, one or two of my videos. When I was having problems with the editor, she was in that video asking which one I use um, and which one I swap to. So you could always link from there if I forget to link. Or just, you know, put a comment saying, Sonia, you forgot to link them, put it in. <laughs> and then I will. <laughs> um, so I'll catch you all later. Bye. Me again. No bored of me yet? <laughs> I forgot to say, I have my phone back. My precious... Um, I'm not even sure it's my phone. Um, there's no screen protector on it, and I sent it with a screen protector. Um, and they sent me a new I I I E M I E I I M E I. <laughs> they sent me a new I M E nine number and a new box. I sent it in this one. They sent it in this one back with that box because I need a new number. Um, it's possible they just replaced the entire motherboard. Um, but it could be that they've just replaced the entire phone because I can't tell because my phone was in pristine condition, not a scratch on it, no marks, nothing. Um, and this one's come back the same way. Um, it's just missing my screen protector. So they either took the screen protector, it was like one of those glass screen protectors. So they've either took that off during the repair process or they've just sent me a new phone. I don't know because I didn't send it with the case. So I um, kept hold of the case if you weren't supposed to. Either way, it's working, it's not crashing, and it's wonderful. Um, but yeah, if they replaced the whole motherboard, um, there really was a problem with my phone. Uh, Duncan was wondering if I was frying the systems again. Um, when I was younger, um, I know a lot of people don't believe in this sort of thing, but <laughs> when I was younger, I used to fry everything. Um, I couldn't wear watches, I couldn't touch electronics, um, I couldn't touch metal hand rails don't press um elevator buttons just it couldn't because um i'd get electric shocks i'd give other people electric shocks it would be incredibly painful 
And every time I wore an electrical device, it stopped working, it just fried. <laughs> um, but as I got older, that got less. Um, to the point that, as you can see, I can wear electrical devices again. Um, but recently, this obviously went on the fritz. My iPad is on and off on the fritz. And even my brand new Fitbit is a little on the fritz. <laughs> so Duncan's a little worried that maybe it's me. <laughs> but um, I think there was an actual problem from the beginning on my phone because it was playing up almost from the very beginning. I mean, a couple of days in it started playing up and it just got worse over time. So I'm guessing as they look like they replaced the entire motherboard or the entire phone, um, there really was a ma major problem with it. Um, but it's all done. It's all free. They haven't tried to claim it's my fault or anything, so that's brilliant. Uh, and I'm just glad to have it back, even back sooner than I was expecting, because they said it was going to take three to five days, and it came the next day. I mean, it still took them over a week to do it. I missed my phone. Um, but, yeah, it's really nice to have it back, um, which means on from tomorrow, I'll go back to filming on this instead of my iPad, which means I'll have better angles, better movements, um, and hopefully the sound will be better, because... The rest of the vlogs from vloggers, you didn't have any problems with the sound, I don't think. Um, and that was done on my phone. So, yeah. What we'll have to do is I'll tell you that I'm definitely back on my phone when I am. And then you can let me know whether there's a problem with the sound or not. I think that's going to be the best bet. Um, just in case I need to knock that up to 500 as well. Because if it is a new phone or a new motherboard, that may have affected the volume capabilities. I mean, it's supposed to be making it better, but you never know. <laughs> so you'll have to let me know so I've now got this ball unwound it's not all pink um, inside there is three different colour blues two different colour greens and then pink and then this this is a darker pink this is all this colour this all came from one top I made um, so we've got both of them can I be Minnie Mouse <laughs> um and then obviously I've got the big purple I showed you yesterday. Um, and then I'll have a big grey cream white thing of that size as well. And I've still got at least one, I think two items to take apart. Um, so we're getting there. <laughs> but I might stop that for the minute and just go and make a video because I haven't made a proper video for a little while so I might go and do something and then come back to unwinding later. <laughs> Howler says hi! <laughs> uh. Howler's been, not my face, Howler's been keeping my feet warm because I had cold tootsies so he warmed them up because he's a good boy. <laughs> I don't know why Mally doesn't just say hi because he clearly wants to say hi. <laughs> no it's just that Howler likes to say hi because Howler's cute. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Would you believe he's 13? Not a normal no. teenager, is he? <laughs> I'm really not. He's a wonderful teenager. I'm a I mean, he has one. his moody moments. Who doesn't? I have my moody moments. Everyone but does. Exactly. But he's actually so wonderful and loving, and he doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me that he is a most wonderful, loving, caring son anyone could ever ask for. I mean, he cooks for me, he cleans, he helps make lunch, he makes my cup of teas, because um, I can't lift any of that or go in the kettle or anything. I'm going in the oven. You don't go in a kettle. <laughs> um, runs my bass for me. He does everything he can. He's just, he's wonderful. I am apparently now holding Howler. I have no idea why. Because he was trying to play on your laptop. He wants to play on my laptop. Yeah. There's no games left. I've finished them. I need to find new games. <laughs> right. I'm going to go and probably going to go film something. Because it should be nice and warm in there now. I'll catch you all later. Bye. Hey all, so I'm sat here still folding origami, um, it's now 5.34, uh, I haven't been doing it the whole time, I've stopped for food and that sort of thing, but otherwise basically I've been going, um, so I have 12 more pieces to fold, these ones to make into cubes, and I have 3 cubes already made. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, this probably won't be out today, but it might be out tomorrow. 
Um, it depends on how much editing I have to do. Uh, but we'll see. It, it's coming along nicely. Um, Mally even built a cube. Mally built that one. He did, well. he did fold one piece. Not this one, but he did fold one. And then he suddenly he didn't like the folding, but he liked the building, so he built one. <laughs> uh, but we're getting there. Slowly. But I'm actually enjoying it. I find folding paper doing all of me really relaxing. So I'm just sat here relaxing in the conservatory or my wonderful bathroom. Um, folding paper. And I haven't done anything else all day because I'm just doing this. <laughs> but I don't mind. It, it's work and that's the important thing. Oh, I did clean out and set up my study desk. Um, laptop setup, keyboard, mouse. Um, obviously the laptop has a keyboard but for ease of comfort I use the ergonomic one they gave me and the ergonomic mouse. Um, so it's a little better to use so the laptop's at the back and then the keyboard's in front and the mouse to the side. Which should be an easier setup for me. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I want to do another yarn, um, craft channel shout out. Um, if you can remember back in February, was it January, February? One of those two, wasn't it? Um, we were doing a small yarn creators um, hashtag where we all joined in. But I'd like to change it slightly. Instead of doing small yarn creators, I'd actually like to do one with small craft creators. Um, which I checked, last time I checked, there's no hashtag for it, so it would be useful for just us, for those of it. And I'd like to have not just yarn channels, but diamond painting, origami, whatever craft you do, I'd like to give shout outs to those channels um, instead of just the yarn community. Because we're all um, crafty creators and we're all struggling to get seen in, when, uh, above the people with millions of subscribers. A lot of us still haven't reached our thousand yet. Um, some haven't even had a chance to reach, you know, 200 and that because they're new and it's hard to get seen. It's so hard when you're new to get seen. So I thought maybe we could do a shout out. So is anyone interested in doing a shout out collaboration um, under the hashtag small craft creators? Please let me know either in the comment below or um, in my YouTube group on Facebook, which is just on your Jones YouTube. You should be able to find it. I'll try to link it as well so you can find it. Um, but I think it'd be nice to do. And don't forget to go over and vote on the cross-stitch um, poll to see who wants to join in on the cross-stitch um, along. So the cell. Huh. Did anyone else notice that flash? I had no idea what that was. Um, but yeah, go along, vote, go. Join up um, to Sonia Jones. What? Is it just Sonia Jones YouTube? I can't actually remember my YouTube channel name that. How appalling is that? Um, not my YouTube channel, my YouTube group on her. Sonia Jones YouTube group. Yeah, there we go. Um, so come along and join up and vote for um, what stitch along you want to do. And let me know if you'd like to join in with the small craft. Um, creators collaboration. Um, I haven't messaged anyone to ask direct. I thought I'd just put it out here and see if anyone wants to join in. I will do a video shouting out a bunch of people whether anyone else joins in or not. Um, but I'm hoping other people might join in and help boost it a little. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm probably going to do that next week but I don't know which day. Um, what are we on? Friday the 14th so yeah, I'll probably get it out before the end of September. Um, I think I'd say if we can do it, we'd get everyone to do it before the end of September. That gives a couple of weeks. Um, but it doesn't matter if people do it after that. I just think it would be nice to try to give everyone a boost. Especially as there's been quite a few new channels recently who obviously would have missed out on the first shout out. And so I think giving them a little boost would be really nice. Uh, I have mentioned a couple of channels today in my vlog, as you probably already noticed. <laughs> uh, but I'd I, I'd like to do more. Um, there's a couple of non-yarny channels that I've recently found um, that I'd like to give a shout out to as well. Um, so I think I'll probably mention them um, before the shout out. If I just have to look up their details because I can't remember them, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, but I'd like to include the four those four. 
and a whole bunch of other ones because um, there is new ones since the last shout out um, collaboration uh, so let me know what you think but now I am going to get back to this um, as I said three done so I just need to make six more cubes which we're getting there and then I can video and show how you put them all together um, I need to show how to actually build a cube and then the adjustments you make which are minor to actually join them together to make the moving blocks but I'm hoping some of you will like it I know not everyone's into origami a lot of you here just for the yarn um, but I know some of you don't mind other crafts so I figured I'll show it and we'll see how it goes so I will catch you all later bye hey guys so I've actually just finished the origami cube video it's taking quite a while but it's done I got a lot of interruptions but it's now officially getting dark in here so I have my lights on aren't they pretty I like my lights right. now over here as I mentioned to some people is my three mannequins now they need names because none of them have names so we have a size 16 a size 14 and that one with the green jaw in is actually a child's uh, 10 to 12 I think can't remember and I also have a three to four year old there so can anyone give me any names for these mannequins because they need them I need to make clothes for them because they're a little plain on that white hey you again um so yeah just if you can think of names for my mannequins please give me some because I've got four mannequins and no names for any of them what do you think of my lights which are kind of reflecting in my glasses <laughs> um oh my throat is killing me today So, I've finished making and recording how to make this thing. It's still working out its folds as it explains in the thing. The paper has to get used to going in the new positions. So, it just takes a little bit to encourage it for a little while. But, this is what I've shown how to make in my origami video. So, if anyone's interested, check it out when it comes out it won't be out today There's no way i'm gonna have time to get it done today um but possibly it'll be out tomorrow uh depends on what we're doing um i actually want to go and sign up to my local library for access to some ebooks and some audiobooks because i think maybe audiobooks might help me sleep um but i need to find a way of playing it loud enough that i can hear it but quite enough it doesn't bug duncan what I really need from those speaker pillows, but I don't know how comfy they are. Um, but I'll work something out. But yeah, I've got my main light on as well, but then I've got my two pretty fairy tales. Um, so it's a pink tree, and then the lights that are hanging around the window are actually from IKEA. My one and only trip to IKEA. Um, I may have showed you in the video, it's when I went down to um, my sister in law's, and then my brother in law's. Uh, I can't remember now but um, this is actually gonna battery is gonna die on this soon so I need to go into the other room so I can plug it in because I've already run out my charging block on it uh, been a busy day I haven't recorded the origami on this um, but I've been watching YouTube on that um, during my short breaks while I had food and things and while I was working this piece around a few times to try to get the paper to fold in the right way um, it takes some practice <laughs> but I really get there um, yeah there's 54 individual pieces of paper in this six per cube not many to fold that's why it's taking me all day but I like it um, I will be doing other ones especially other moving ones because I do like them there's a um, another version of this one the moving blocks too that has this but then it has well turn it sideways it'll have three along there as well so it makes an entire cube and um, that's fun um that one i definitely will use glue on because that's um quite a bit of a hassle to put together so i will use glue on that one whereas this one i've not used glue i've just tried to maneuver the paper but i think i might glue it because i'm actually quite enjoying it i wasn't gonna keep it like that but 
it's, even though it's random colours, I quite like it. So I think I might actually go through and glue all the pieces together and keep that one together now. I know traditionally origami doesn't use glue or tape, um, but if you want them to last, um, I think gluing them is a good way to do it instead of having to keep putting it back together every time a piece of paper slips out. Um, because it can be a little fiddly. Each join has two flaps going across to each cube, so there's a lot of joins, um, which you'll see in the video. But, you know, I'll see. So I haven't actually got anything else done because I have been working on that, but at least I've got that video. I still have a couple of 5D diamond painting ones to put out, but I didn't want to put any more of them out because they're the only ones I've put out recently. So I thought I'd get an origami one done today, um, and then I might try a quilling or maybe one of my um, toys that I wrote the pattern for, or um, maybe the Prim Maxi knitting machine. I'll get something else out so I can get a couple of other videos out first before I put the next 5D painting out, I think. Um, I know some people aren't liking my videos at the moment. I seem to have a serial thumbs down. In fact, one of my videos got two thumbs down. Um, you know what? Thanks. Because your thumbs down, you might not like my show. Why are you watching it if you don't like it? Really? Um, but your interaction actually boosts me in the algorithm. So it doesn't bother me that you thumbs down. Um, it's just it's helping me, really. So never mind. <laughs> But I just, I don't understand why people watch it if they don't like it. I mean, really. I don't like something. I don't watch it. I don't thumbs down the person. <laughs> but, oh well. That's their problem. Not mine. Um, I'm actually going to probably call this quits for the night. Um, I have no idea what time it is because this is currently on charge. Um, hang on, let me press a button on my phone, which is now back and working. Um, oh, just about to be 8 o'clock. Um, so I might actually finish this here because Duncan's just coming back with dinner from Tesco's um, and we can settle down for the night. We we're going to go to the gym but apart from my throat hurt and I've actually got a bit of an earache um, and it's it's quite painful and I'm trying my best to prevent it getting worse because if it gets any worse um, I will have to take my cortisone because my body can't actually handle illness anymore. Um, and I don't want to, you know, I have enough um, steroids going to my body for my asthma pump, that's what's caused the cushions in the first place, um, and if I have to take more because I've become down ill, that's just going to make my cushions worse, you know, but there's not much I can do because obviously the cushions um, is not just basic cushions, it's with adrenal suppression. Um, I have Cushion's syndrome, not Cushion's disease. Cushion's disease is actually when you have a tumour um, in your body. Um, oh, I can't remember where it goes now. Um, basically, it messes with your hormones, your cortisol and things. Um, and when you remove it, you will then often have Addison's disease, which is not enough, until your body recovers. And then your body recovers and you're good to go. So you take cortisol until your body's recovered and that's what Addison's is where just you don't have enough cortisol so you have to replace it whereas mine because mine is from my asthma pump I'm constantly getting overdosed on steroids which is what's causing the cushions but that's meaning my body no longer produces any because it's saying whoa too much which means if I get ill or something my body is not producing the normal hormones needed to help fight um illnesses i know obviously your immune system does fighting but um your body produces just like the stress hormones it releases it so your body can cope with the um what stress you're going through and mine doesn't so because it's suppressed so i react like an addison's person would it's, it's so confusing <laughs> um but they can't fix it because they can't take away my asthma pump it's a very pain in the bum you know <laughs> So, in the long story short, I just, I don't want to get sicker. So, I'm not going to the gym and I'm not pushing my body today. I'm hoping to go on Sunday instead. I'm hoping if I rest well enough, um, which fold an origami is pretty restful, because I mean, it's just folding sheets of paper. Um, hopefully, I'll be better by Sunday and be all good. Fingers crossed. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go. 
um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Um, now that I've got my phone back, I can play Pokemon again. So I've sent out gifts to those I could. There's some that I couldn't send out that seem, I don't know if they're not playing anymore or what, but they're obviously not opening my gifts. Um, so I can't send them to them. But those who I could send, um, and thank you for those who sent gifts while I didn't have a phone. I've now opened them, received them, and sent you them back. Uh, but I'll be able to play Pokemon again, and also I'll be able to record when I'm out of the house again. Because obviously I don't want to be carrying my iPad around with me. Um, so we might get some footage of me out and about around town tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> am I talking super fast? I feel like I am. Um, I have to slow my body down. My throat really hurts. <laughs> Still talking. Throat hurts. Still talking. There's nothing going to stop me talking. Um... When I was younger, I used to talk so fast, the teachers couldn't understand me, and my twin sister actually used to have to translate for me. <laughs> Seriously, they asked my sister what it was I said. Um, so they taught me to slow down. I mean, the bonus was, I was the actual top of the class, in fact, I think it was top of the year, um, for riddles. Tongue twisters, not riddles, tongue twisters, um, which was great. I mean, I was really good with riddles too, but, you know. Um, I haven't been on coffee or anything, I promise. No caffeine, no Pepsi still. Me. <laughs> I did have a Lucasaid though, so I have had something fizzy, but I need a little Lucasaid because it gives the boost in my system that it needs. Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot. Hmm. Brain gone. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. So you take care. Right? Bye.